In farming, different challenges are encountered, such being the common pests and diseases, change of climate, and unexpected attack by pests. Wamahio has had his share of challenges. Wakati umepada haya mapapai, na wakati unafanya ukulima, definitely kuna matatizo ye yenye uwa unapata. Na kwa mapapai, uh, shida ya kwanza ni ukipada, na kuwe kuna wanyama kama porcupine. Sazigine wanakuja wakifikiria wata, wataikula huko chini, wana, 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 wanaikata. E, igine ni kwa bawa kunaweza hewa inaweza badrika hewa inaweza badrika na ikuwe mapapai haizai vizuri kuligana vile unataka e, saa zingine kunaweza tokea wadudu waharibifu nao hata kama tunangangana na wao bado watakuwa wameharibu wa mapapai unaona imechomwa na baridi hiyo hiyo mpaka ipigwe dawa ya baridi uh, hizi za huku chini ni zile zimezeeka lakini unaona huo uh, mpapai umezaa vizuri hata wewe unajionea ile ingine tulihesabu tukaona kumi na kitu kumi na saba hii tena iko na yake karibu ishirini The popo has three tree types based on how the flowers are arranged female, male and hermaphrodite these can only be differentiated after it flowers this is the major challenge because if you happen to plant more male than female, it means you will require to replace them. Male plants will produce two hermaphrodite flowers and set fruit on the ends of the branches. However, these fruits are usually of poor quality or no fruit production. Mapapai sio uwezi ukajua lile la male and female. Na kwa hivyo unaweza panda upate uko na mills e, miti mingi na kwa hivyo itakubidi unakata hizo mills una, una replace na zingine zenye hata hujui kama zitakuwa female lakini e, inabidi ufanye hivyo Hermaphrodite plant produces flowers which have both male and female parts and are capable of self pollination Bisexual fruits are usually long and narrow, and although the eating quality may be excellent, the shape presents some problems for commercial handling. This is a male, na hii ni male igine. Now he unaona iko na ni a male, lakini iko na matuda. Na hii dio huwa inasemekana ni hermaphrodite. Iko na male, na na female at the same time. Iko na matuda, unaona imezala. Aiko na zingine maua zenye hazitoi kitu hizi ni za ni za kiume hizi ko huku na hizi ni za za kike Wamahia supplies this luscious fruit to the locals market his market also targets other areas like Limuru and Lari these are cold regions which are not able to produce such fruits as popos Soko yangu ni ya hapa tu karibu uh, kama wakati huu hata wale mnajua kulikuwa na upunguvu wa, wa mapapai kwa soko na kwa hivyo akina mama wale wanauza kwa soko wako na haja sana na hayo mapapai lakini ikifika I, iwe ime, 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 wame, wametosheka kwa sababu inaweza kuwa local market imekuwa saturated uh, ni haya ma, mapapai nitayapeleka ninajua iko soko pale Limuru Kuna lemuru mahali kuko baridi, lemuru, lari, huko akukui mapapai. Na kwa hivyo hapo iko soko mzuri. Ya uh, hizi matuda. Mr. Wamahia says his popos are indeed profitable. From the 400 popo plants on his farm, selling 30 shillings per piece gives him good profits. Ukiangalia muti kama huu, I said about uh, you can it can give you about 100 uh, 150 Kenya shillings. However, that is on average. If you look at the, this particular one, it has like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have also harvested about 3. So that is uh, about 17. 17 times 30. You find that it's uh, like uh, 510. 510. So this, uh, this uh, one tree can give me 510 uh, one season. And you know, harvesting of popo, if you give it all the requirements, it, is, it produces cont continuously. And therefore, you can have uh, maybe even uh, over 
a thousand Kenya shillings per year. There is only one farm attendant with whom he works with to manage and maintain his farm. Sasa hapa kwa shamba yangu ni nimeajiri mzee mmoja mwenye anakaa kiangalia na kipalilia na ikifika wakati wa harvest uh, tunasaidiana. Popos can be used to make ice cream flavors, refreshing drinks, jam, jelly, wine, marmalade, candies and crystallized fruits. The latex produced by the unripe fruit is harvested and used in the production of papain, used in the brewing industry, canned meats and pharmaceutical industries. Warohio encourages farmers to do more of value addition which will enable farmers to get back more value for their hard work. I'm making consultations on a value addition. Kwa sababu wakati mwingine haya matunda inaweza kutokea kwa soko ya kuwe mengi sana na yakikuwa mengi bei inaharibika. Sasa ndio wewe uweze kukabiliana na na na, na, na hilo changamoto mpaka ufikirie juu ya value addition. Ndio you, you, you increase the longevity. Naitwa Shelf life. Irrigation is practiced on this farm since it is a low rainfall region. Rainfall in this area is not enough. And uh, very rare that you will find uh, such a farm in this area. You require to think about water harvesting. And uh, if you look at uh, my house, there is no water that goes to waste. I even get water from the roads. The, the runoff during rain, rain season and I have directed that water into a certain reservoir. Now I have enough water to irrigate my crops for about three months and in that case by the end of three months there will be more, there will be, uh, the, it will be the next season, the rainy season. So in your own small way you can be able to harvest water and you harvest according to the type of farming you want to do. Then uh, you also avoid overhead irrigation. You do drip. In that case, you avoid wastage of water, which is a, a, a scarce uh, resource to any farming. And because this is a dry place, we need to harvest as much water as possible during the rainy season. And uh, as you can see, my house, all the water has been collected. Some water comes to this underground tank and uh, because it is big there are other tanks at the other end. When they, they fill and they start overflowing, I have tapped the overflow. I hapa kwa hii shimo tena, dioijai. Hii kija, there is another overflow here. Sasa hii overflow dio inapeleka kwa ile shimo ingine kubwa. So in this case, I have enough water in uh, this dry uh, uh, place. Alafu sasa, uh, finally, nina pump kutoka hapa. During the dry season, iko outlet hapa, I pump the water back to the tank. And then there are uh, pipes that are taking to the, to, the, to the shaba. In the years to come, Wamahio has plans to practice crop rotation and plant a different type of fruit to enhance and enrich the soil. Now that uh, Popo lifespan is about uh, four to five years, I'm planning that uh, maybe before the fourth year, I'll plant uh, oranges so that uh, when the, the Popos are over, you can start harvesting the oranges. Nazagalia unaona meat in Missouri, haina wadudu, being a principal, he reaches out to young people to get involved in agricultural practices happening in their areas. He also suggests that agriculture should be compulsory to all students in order to give them exposure to farms and perhaps change their perspective towards farming. Ali, Ali, Ali. Lakini kuligana na vile sisi tumefanya mashaba yetu tume yakatakata yakakuwa kidogo sana we are able to go to do mechanization mechanized farming 
na hiyo ni changamoto moja hata wakati tunafunza wanafunzi shuleni inakuwa hawataki kuwa wakulima kwa sababu hii kazi ya kushida kwa jua ukilima na labda kuna mazao mzuri and it is very demoralizing lakini bado tunawaambia wanafunzi ya kwamba e, ukulima ndio mti wa mgongo uti wa mgongo kwa inchi yoyote ile mpaka watu wajizalishie chakula mpaka wajitoshereshe na chakula ukiangalia hi, kwa historia ukienda britain what came first is agrarian revolution and then later followed followed by industrial revolution na kwa hivyo hao watu kile walingangana nacho kwanza ni mambo ya kujipea chakula watu wa kishiba wataweza kufikiria industrialization Agri Africa played a big role in enabling Wamahio to make profits in this venture. Agri Africa has uh, assisted me in uh, making uh, various decisions on the use of my land. And uh, I know that uh, they can give you a good training uh, where you will be able to make a profit. Mixed farming is profitable to the farmer since you harvest all year round due to the different seasons of the crops. This is a part of the banana plantation. It's about a, a quarter with about a hundred pieces. And uh, anytime you harvest, you get, uh, we sell per, per kg, per kilogram. One kg, 25 shillings. So if you have a minimum of 25 kgs you'll get a 500 about 600 per piece. Uh, I bought them from Jake Quat and this is a grade 9 a tissue catcher grade 9 and giant. In this partition of the farm he has grown oranges which are doing pretty fine too. Kwa hii shaba yangu, bado niko na machungwa, na niko na tajalins, na bado niko na, na dimu. It's about 100 pieces, uh, pieces. tajalins about uh, 20. Hizi tunauza loko, na zigine na zapereka mahali kama nilivyo sema, lemuru, where they don't grow such fruits. Hizi machungwa, kama nilivyo sema hapo awali, kuna hili shimo, enye nimechiba hapa. I harvest water and this water seep underground. So I have the fruits throughout the year. Mr. Wamahio has grown the apple type of mangoes and these trees are a sure indication that the yields are good. This uh, apple mango, you can see uh, this is off season. Hapa. Uh, ukiwa na shaba kubwa kama mkulima mdogo, ni vizuri upande mimea tofauti tofauti. Kama sasa niko na maembe, as you have seen, niko na bananas, uh, I have oranges and I have purpose. That means that uh, I will always be harvesting because from mangoes you go to oranges, uh, purples are almost throughout, bananas are throughout. I think bananas are the best because they go throughout uh, the year. So long as you give them the required uh, 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 nutrients. To get in touch with Mr. Wamahio for inquiries, he shares his contact. My contacts of 0725-650-176, you can get in touch with me to get uh, the, the fruits that I'm growing. I have bananas, I have oranges, I have popos, and I think uh, I'll be glad uh, to sell my products uh, to you.
Mrs. Motesia from Selanga in Kakuzi location is among the farmers who have warmed up to growing popos, breaking away from the conventional planting of maize and beans, which many farmers say is no longer profitable. Jina langu naitwa Alida Motesia na mambo ya ukulima mimi naonanga mambo ya ukulima ni mzuri maana wakati mimi nilianza ukulima ninaona ninaendelea kwa maana wakati mimi nilianza ukulima nilikuwa na watoto na walikuwa wachanga na hao watoto nililea na mambo ya ukulima lakini wakati huo mbeleni mimi nilikuwa na lima mahindi na maharagwe saa hii sasa ndio nimeona nianze ukulima wa kilimo cha vidu vya kaa machungwa maembe avocado paipai kwa hivyo nikafikiria wacha nianze mambo ya ukulima ya hizo vitu maana ma, mambo ya mahindi na maharagwe sasa hii mahindi yaendi vizuri maharagwe yaendi vizuri sasa nikaona wacha nianze mambo ya ukulima ya maembe machungwa na paipai mwenye aliniambia nianze kupanda aliniambia yeye aliona wakati yeye alipanda na akaanza ikaanza kuwa na mazao aliona mazao yake ilikuwa mzuri maana yeye alikuwa anauza akapata kitu sasa na mimi nikaonelea waja nianze niangalia hata mimi kaa nitapata chenye huyo alifuata na mimi nimfuate mm. Ndiyo tunaendelea tunakupea maji kwa wakati huu juu hakuna mfua tunaendelea tunakupea maji ndiyo tuangalia kaa sitamea She practices water harvesting to enable her water her crops during the dry seasons. Yenye tunatumia tuko na shimo hapa kwa shamba na tuko na ingine pale chini kwa mtaro tumeshafungia hapo maji yenye tunatumia kwa kupea hiyo mimea. Hii ndio mara yangu ya kwanza ya kupanda hii mimea ya paipai. Sana. Hii ndio sehemu nyingine mimi nilipanda hizi paipai. Ndio angalau niangalie kaa itakuwa mzuri. Nipate mafuno. Hii iko na wiki tatu ya kupanda. Kwa hivyo nataka kuangalia venye itaendelea. Lakini hii inaonekana tu ni kaa imemea hii iko hapa. Joseph Kimani is another mixed farmer from this region who grows fruits such as mangoes, oranges. He also keeps bees and is now venturing in popo farming. Najaribu saidi ili nitengeneze hii shamba iwe ya kunisaidia nyumae uzeni wangu. Na nimepanda machungwa niko na mingi. Maembe pia niko naye tukienda pande hii ya chini iko maembe uh, avocado ndio na panda niko ni kidogo sana ndio na, na panda begu alafu ikisut ni graft hash um, tena nimepanda ngoashe hii ni maharago, ma, kuna maharagwe na mahindi na pia huku ndani ya machungwa kuna mpaipai na kuna marenge Paipai niko na mimea kama 60 pieces ile nimepanda Unaona kwa hii shimo kwa hii shimo nimepanda paipai na ile ni marenge nilinunua ile ya miezi mi, miwili na nusu. Okay. Dio hii unaiona? Yeah, Nimepanda na pamoja na hii marenge. Na unaona marenge sasa imeanza kutokea na ni hii mzimu wetu ya mfua. Kwa hii marenge nitoa kwa mkulima mwingine alikuwa anahojiwa kwa KTN Farmer TV na wakati nilipata nili nili, niliona 
kwa TV na nikasikia maelezo yake nikafikiria hata mimi nitajaribu kufanya hivyo. Nyuma ndio nilikuwa nikapatana na huyu. Akaniambi akanielezea mambo ya mpaipai. Hiyo mpaipai umepanda vizuri. Eh. Uh-huh. Lakini ile time una tembea tembea kwa shamba. Eh. Uh-huh. Vizuri unafanya ile kitu inaitangwa monitoring. Uh-huh. Monitoring kutembea tembea kwa shamba ukiangalia mimea yako kama iko na magonjwa ama wadudu. Okay. Kuja kwa mimea kama huu. Uh-huh. Kuja unaangalia yeah. pande ya chini. Uh-huh. Unaangalia vizuri. Yeah. Sababu wadudu wengine hawaonekana nangi vizuri. Yeah. Bado unaweza gonga gonga hivyo. Mhm. Bwana hakuna wadudu. Yeah. Nasema umea ni yuko sawa. Okay. Lakini ukiona wadudu, yeah. Kuna dawa zenye unaweza tumia. Okay. Kuchanganya na dawa ya wadudu. Uh-huh. Na foria. Yeah. Foria pidi ni ya kusaidia hii mumea ikuwe ikiwa nono. Yeah. Na mizizi ikiwa mzuri pia. Uh-huh. Ikiwa na kiangazi. Yeah. Kwa mizizi itaweza kunywa ile maji kuvuta ile maji iko huko chini. Yeah. Sababu itakuwa na mizizi mingi. Okay. Na hii nayo majani, uh-huh. hiyo foria. Uh-huh. Utapata hii majani hii ndio mdomo ya mumea. Okay. Kwa hivyo utapata hii mumea imekuwa green. Okay. Mimea ikikuwa green inazanga uh-huh. kuvuta jua vizuri. Okay. Kwa hata zile matunda itazaa uh-huh. ni mingi. Okay. Kwa hivyo utaweza kuhiti ile target ya matunda 150. Okay. Kwa mwaka moja. Okay. Mr. Kimani's main challenge is lack of water and only relies on rainfall, which to him is a major limitation to getting optimum harvest from his crops. He dug a borehole but unfortunately the water was not available. Hiyo maji ndio shida kwangu kwa sababu hata wakati wa kiangazi ningekuwa ni kilima na maji. Hapa hata mungekura matunda sana hapa. Kwa hivyo nikipata mtu anaweza nisaidia nipate borehole hapa. Hata nyinyi mungekua mnapenda kuwa mnakuja hapa every weekend. As an agronomist from the Agrilil Africa, we welcome all the farmers who would like to work with us, investors, entrepreneurs. We are ready to assist them in uh, going through this way of agribusiness. And they will, uh, I hope they will be secure to when they are investing their money in the soil. We are ready to get our hands dirty in helping them. So our contacts, Our website is www.agrilafrica.com. Our Facebook page is at agrilafrica.com. Office number is 07-06-660-811. The other one is 07-38-965-2000. By that you will be able to reach us when we are organizing training events in Mwea, in Kajando, in Nyandarwa, in Muranga County. We can always hook up and see how to assist each other.